Well, it's just before 7 p.m. I'm on my way home from the cathedral. One funeral finished, one prepared for for tomorrow, and the bishop has now asked me to go to Melbourne to represent him at the funeral for the widow of a former bishop of Ballarat. The funeral service is being taken place at All Saints East St Kilda in Melbourne, a fine neo-Gothic church where Father James Bishop is now the vicar in charge. So I shall have an early start in the morning to leave to go to Melbourne. I'll go by train and on then on to St Kilda. It's a pleasant evening. It's 25 degrees at the moment and it's not anticipated to drop to below uh, 14 degrees tonight. Let's hope it's not too hot for tomorrow. You can see that the fields are browning up with these few days of sunshine and, and lack of rain that gone brown very quickly. You can also see that the side of the roads have been cut by the local farmers. You can see it gets a little greener as we travel along. You can see here it's a little greener but both sides of the road have been mowed back. This is mainly as a precaution for cars catching the side of the grass light and, and grass fires starting. Occasionally the uh, sides are fenced off with electric fencing and cattle uh, are encouraged to roam in this, they call them Long Paddock. Um, there's a couple of bottles of wine named after this as well. This uh, next section of the road my mother hates whenever she's here. Um, she describes it as being as bad as the Big Dipper at Battersea Funfair. I don't know if it's still running, it was when I was a child. Here we go. I'm hoping we might see some of the butterflies just fly out of the trees. Butterflies. I found this beautiful butterfly tree. 